Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss about the fourth problem of ANSYS uh, stepped bar. This is fixed step bar. And uh, these are the questions taken from the ANSYS lab manual, which is most commonly used in the colleges and universities. These are the most common questions which is being used. And uh, for your information, this is not going to be done on ANSYS 14.5 or the older version for which the lab manuals are properly made because uh, for newer version most of these methods are not valid so we are going to use ANSYS 2019 with the new methods so first of all go for structural then we define element type as link 180 after that I am going to define material properties material model so for the first one first material model is uh, 70 Newton per meter square if we convert it to Newton per mm square that will be 10 to power uh, power 3 so 70 e3 and this is I am going to take 0.3 for the second material we are going to have a new model with isotropic property now we have 200 e3 200 e3 0.3 okay so we have two models close it now we will go in sections define the area for both area for first one is 2400 mm square apply area for second is 600 mm square click ok so now I'm going to in this one I'm directly going to use nodes and elements to create the model this is not a very uh, complex part so I'm directly going to use nodes so first one as it is origin second one will be on 300 third one will be on 700 and click OK so now we are going to define elements and each of these elements as you can see each of these elements have different sections as well as different material property so before defining that we have to go for element attributes for the first element we are going to use first material with the Young's modulus E1 and sec first section with area A1 so go for auto number through nodes pick first and two click OK now for the second one we are going to again go in element attributes for second one we are going to use second material with uh, Young's modulus E2 and section of the second will be A2 for the second that we have already defined in sections and click OK through node pick 2 and 3 OK so here we have defined the model now for applying loads define load structure displacement on nodes 1 and 3 they both should be all uh, like fully constrained 1 and 3 are fully constrained whereas on the second we have f as 20,000 so we'll apply force on nodes and in fx direction as 20,000 click ok now we can go for solution we have the solution no errors so far and uh, we'll define a table in ls1 okay and uh, I'm going to first uh, list the reactions we'll see the reaction solution so the reaction solution is this much as you can see so it's good if you can save it I have already saved as uh, I'll save it again reaction solution and make a separate folder because in this folder you're going to save two three files so save it now second I'm going to plot the nodal solution and over here x component deform shape okay so this is the output we got we can capture image 
and it will create a PDF which I can say as practice 4 assignment 4 nodal solution so I'm going to save it in this folder save and the black background is converted automatically into the white background which you can print and attach so the displacement that we are having is 0 0.023256 mm so this is correct close it now I want to see the stresses so for that we can go for uh, plot results counter plot element table we can say and C so this one will be having maximum uh, stress of uh, 5.426 megapascal and the blue one blue one is minus 11.62 megapascal so we can save this also this is the stresses involved and uh, this is practice 4 assignment 4 stress element solution save so again it converts it into white and we have the two stresses stra uh, stress minimum stress maximum and uh, if you want uh, to list the table so so this is the displacement if you want to list the table actually uh, element table so we can go for list data element for a second element table and uh, list element table ls1 so from here also you can see we have two values minimum and maximum stresses which you can save so if you don't want to save it as a, a picture or something if you want a, a list of it you can save it like that element stress save so in this way you have uh, saved nodal displacement you have saved stresses in each section as well as reaction forces thank you